Welcome to another issue of Breaking Bank. This is your host, Jack McKegg. Check us out on libertyaid.org. I, you know, I came up with, uh, let's call this another one of those, uh, did you know? Did you know no one follows the law? The financial laws, did you know no one follows them? Really, almost no one. I'm one of the very few people that follows the law. You know, the financial laws, all, all the laws. Because everybody said, oh, laws, laws, you gotta... Anyway, when you end up going to court over anything, right, pretty much, um, you'll find out that no one can win at court. It's never happened. <laughs> you know, I've been so many times, never win at court. Not ever. No one has won at court. I've never heard of anyone doing it. I've never met anyone who's done it. Winning at court is a hoax. If someone wins at court, right... It's one of them, like faking, doing an act that is possible to win a court. It's just always a hoax. It's very rare. You see it like in the news or something. You know what I mean? You don't, you'll never meet anyone who wins a court. You know, it, I plea bargained. I had to pay a fine. I had to go to jail. I had to, you know, be, you know, they foreclosed on my house. They did the, you know, whatever horrible thing they're doing, they always do that horrible thing. So, so they don't follow the law. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, if you think of it very simply, every debt is collected illegally by every bank, every lender, every, every, everyone who, you know, uh, every credit union, every, uh, every lender, like student loans, uh, Visa, MasterCard, uh, you name it. All of that, where you get dollars to purchase something, that whole thing where they say they're giving you a loan, they don't have the proof that there's a loan. And so it's actually not owed. If you ask them for the proof, they'll never have it. In which case, that means the debt isn't owed. You don't owe the debt. You see what I'm saying? See, that's fact. And they know it. So what I'm saying is, like the court, lawyers, police... Right? Any to, anyone to do with anything in the government, right? They don't follow the law. Not not in financial matters. They do not ever follow the law. Not ever. Because they're collecting all the debt illegally, you see? And so if you go to court with like, hey, you know, they don't have the documents and so on to collect this debt, you know? Or can you, maybe, maybe your honor help get, get some, can I get some help, your honor, with this? No. Never. No, they're never going to... See, you know, so everyone paying a mortgage, everyone paying their credit card bill, everyone, right, paying all those types of bills from a bank, they're not following the law. They're breaking the law. You see what I'm saying? They're not paying for a bill that's owed. You see what I'm saying? That, that bill is being collected illegally. You see? So they're not following the law by paying it. They're making a donation to a bank at I guess the goodness in their heart that whatever but I don't find banks that good myself so so they're not following the law by paying these bills you see what I'm saying they're doing it because they choose to do so but they are not following the law so you have everyone paying their bills right to the bankers they're not following the law you have the bankers and the government right they're not following the law none of none of them none of those people are following the law you see what I'm saying so you know you get in these groups or somebody's like hey you know this is the law yeah no that doesn't matter yes you have to catch them you know breaking a law sure you have to but they break them all nothing could be easier than to catch them breaking a law they don't ever follow the law never banks or government they never follow the law not ever never and you'll never catch them doing that they never have a license, they never have anything. So, you know, I guess you could follow the law. I follow the law, <laughs> that's, that's why people don't like me so much. I follow the law. Banks, government, I'm not in jail, you see? Because I follow the law. I suggest you follow the law. If you want information and, and you know, the ability to follow the law, you should get in touch with me, get a half hour of my time, Get one of the packages on Liberty 8. They work. They're proven to work, right? 
and I'll show you how to force them to follow the law. Because they're not going to follow the law until you force them. How do you force them? Really, there are two ways, right? You you threaten, i.e., I, you know, be prepared and then take away their revenue stream. Not just threaten it, but take it away when need to. Like, what does that mean? Take away their revenue stream. People make money, right? Like a lawyer makes money because they have a license to practice law, right? So you take away the license to practice law, they can't make any more money. Very simple. So, and the other thing that gets threatened, i.e. taken away, right? Is clouding the title of real estate assets, right? You, you cloud the title just like they do a mortgage or, or a car loan, right? Um, that clouds the title. Even, even uh, you know, credit card clouds the credit rating, which is like a title, you know, not exactly a title, but it's similar. See, so, but anyway, I'm talking about, uh, you know, their assets, their whatever. If it's a bank, their branches, their headquarters, you know, if it's a lawyer, their if they own the place they operate out of, or if they own a home in the lawyer's name, their person's name, et cetera, et cetera. We have all the tools. The point is, if you want to choose to follow the law, you'll be one in a million if you do. Almost no one on earth follows the law in financial matters, let alone any other matters. But I, I deal in financial matters and really anything. <laughs> you know, because they say you owe a debt, money, a debt to society, same thing. They say you owe some money or owe the government something. Well, they have to have the paperwork to prove it. And if they don't, well then they owe you what they are asking you to pay. Do you see it's that simple? They're not collecting it legally. So then they've harmed and injured your person or your business or whatever. They've harmed you that amount. That dollar amount, say there's a mortgage, right? You know, hundred thousand dollars at ten percent interest. Okay, that's how much they harmed you. So you go collect, and you can foreclose on them. It's very simple. It's a super simple process. Like my work is simple, and it's almost free. It's extremely affordable. My package is pretty affordable. Hundreds of dollars, like not much money. But then the doing of it, almost no money. Really, it's just super easy to do the stuff. It's just pieces of paper, it doesn't cost much money. It, it really simple work. So my suggestion, follow the law. If you want to follow the law, get in touch with us at Liberty Aid, libertyaid.org. Get in touch with us, contact at libertyaid.org. All right. Well, thanks for your uh, support, uh, your comments, your emails, everything. And uh, we're here to support you you know, and getting out of these uh, problems that, that, you know, these financial problems are trying to push on us, which aren't real. In fact, they are real on them. And they owe us. So it's time to collect. Get in touch with, with us at Liberty Aid. Get in touch with me, Jack McCagg, at Liberty Aid, if you want those tools, if you want to have some success in your life and get out from under the boot hail of government and banks and all that. It's not hard. Okay, look at all my proof on YouTube, the Breaking Bank series. It's not hard. Okay, God bless your success.